Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Yours truly. And today's video is on the top eight liquids that may last forever or pretty damn close. All depending on how you store your products. Now, just the other day on Wednesday, I released a video on the top 10 dry goods that may last forever or pretty damn close. And today we're covering the liquid part. This way here, we've got them all covered this week and gives you all a pretty good idea of what is out there and what you may want to check into and put up into your little survival kit for a rainy day. So, as in with liquids, there is no storing this stuff in Marlboro bags, vacuum sealing, none of that kind of stuff. Okay, this basically is just storing it in a cool, dry place. Plain and simple. Everybody should be able to figure this one out, okay? There's no hard work to it. You buy it, put it away. Very simple. So, let's get going on this list of the top eight liquids. Number one is pure vanilla extract. Now, when you're buying it, make sure it says pure in front of it. Don't buy just vanilla extract because that does not last that long at all. You want the pure part on the front and that will last if you do not open it it will last for indefinitely because of the alcohol content that is in the pure vanilla extract it will basically preserve it until you need it but once you open it you're going to have to start using it because then the shelf life does go down as with a lot of different products but if you're storing this if we're in your emergency backup then it will last for a very, very long time. You may notice a little bit of evaporation because of the alcohol. Alcohol does eva evaporate. So you might notice that, but it's still going to retain the flavor and the taste. Number two is coconut oil. Now, for centuries, they have used coconut oil, either the liquid form or in a solid to cook with. And it has lasted for a very, very long time. So, cooking oil is something that you want to make sure that you do have. And if you're going to buy it, make sure you're buying the coconut oil. So you have something to cook with. That will be around for a long time. Now, unlike your vegetable oil, your extra virgin olive oils, and all those kind of things, they don't last that long. They break down very quickly over a matter of a year or so. So, those are not good to store in long-term storage. You want to go with coconut oil. Number three, vinegar. Vinegar of any type, okay? Vinegar is absolutely a wonderful product. Now, you have your apple cider vinegar. You have our apple cider vinegar with a mother. You have white vinegar. You have red wine vinegar. There's all different types of vinegars, and they all last forever. White vinegar is something that you really want to make sure that you do have in your house because if it is an emergency type situation, white vinegar can be used for a lot of things around the home. From cleaning, laundry, cooking, whatever it may be, it's good for that. So having vinegar is going to be one of your top priorities to make sure that you have just because of its multiple purpose use. Number four, soy sauce. Soy sauce goes right along with the whole vinegar thing there. And soy sauce, basically, because of the most of the time it's the high sodium intake on it, um, it will last forever, especially if it is not unopened. Now, I do have a bottle myself in my refrigerator. It is over four years old, and it's still good. It just doesn't go bad. And if it's not opened, well, forget it. It'll be there until the cows come home. Number five, this is for all you ladies out there, so listen closely. Number five is fine wine. Fine wine. Now, if you're going to have your husband go out and buy you wine and stuff, tell him to buy you fine wine, okay? There's a big difference between fine wine and going to Aldi's and spending $2.89 on a bottle of wine. Get what I'm saying? Fine wine is usually more of your burgundies and those type of wines that are made to be put on a shelf in a wine cellar and left there, okay? Now, they have found burgundies and those type of fine wines in wine cellars that are anywhere between 
50 and over 100 years old that are still good to drink. Now, they might pack a little bit more punch, but they're still good to drink. So if you're going to be putting up wine for an emergency situation, if you can actually leave the bottle alone, fine wine is what you want to buy. Number six, hard alcohol. And we're not talking rubbing alcohol here, folks. We're talking hard alcohol. Not your mad dog 2020 either. If you don't know what that is, well, I'm sorry, you're just not old enough. Hard alcohol. You want something that is 80 proof and above, all right? 80 to 100 proof. It'll last longer. It makes it so that it retains its flavor, its taste, and everything else. The higher the proof, the longer it lasts. A, hard, a good hard alcohol will last for several, several decades, and if it's stored properly, it can last indefinitely. It doesn't really go bad. It just starts losing some of its oomph, if you want to put it that way. You know, as everybody gets older, well, next thing you know, you're just kind of like, uh, okay, whatever, you know. Well, you're not a spring chicken anymore. You know, you're 70 years old. Yeah, you just don't feel like, you know, running around the block. Same way with the hard alcohol. It's still good, but it just isn't the same. So, hard alcohol, if you can buy it in small bottles, even if you do not drink, would be a great addition to your little kit because you could take and barter with that, which would be a great thing. And usually most people would want alcohol. Okay, number seven, honey. Now we all know honey has been found all the way back into the Egyptian times and they, they found it, you know, honey that was still, as they say, edible to this day, which is pretty ironic if you think about how long ago that actually was. So honey is something you definitely want to make sure that you do have in your emergency supplies and keep it there because... It is just one of those things that just will never go bad, period. And number eight is maple syrup, not Aunt Jemima. Pure maple syrup. You got to make sure that it's pure maple syrup because there's nothing really in it but syrup. Okay, there are no preservatives. There is no nothing. And it will last just like honey forever. If something happens that your honey or the maple syrup does crystallize, if you put it into a hot water bath in the container that it is in, it will decrystallize and you'll have your honey or your maple syrup back in your possession in no time. So this has been the top eight liquids that will last forever or pretty damn close. And I'd like to thank everybody for watching the video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends, your family, social media, whoever. Keep prepping. Stay strong. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.